Hi and welcome. My name is Aisha Sparks from Temple Healthcare. During these instructional videos, I will be covering various software and hardware topics of the Knox PSG systems. During these videos, I will be communicating with a Knox A1 device with my computer via the Noxternal software. Noxternal will allow you to set up a new recording, download, view recordings for analysis and for data sharing. During all these videos, I will have this device connected to my computer via the cable provided. To do this, simply open the A1 battery hatch with the key provided, like so. Simply take the NOX key, place here on the battery hatch, push down and pull the hatch towards the bottom of the device. Here you will find the battery compartment and also the mini USB input. Place the mini USB into the device and then the USB cable into your computer. If you would like to follow along, please open Noxternal now. And if you do have a device available, please connect it to your computer. Now let's get started. With Knox Journal open and on your start page, now connect the Knox device to your computer via the USB cable provided. This was also shown in the introduction to this video. Once connected, the computer will take about two to four seconds to recognize the device. If the device is not detected straight away, there will be a scan button available here. Press scan and the computer will look for the device. Otherwise, try disconnecting the device and plugging back in for the second time to load the drivers. When Noxternal detects the connected device, the following information about the device is displayed. You'll have the recording status, the firmware version, and the device name and its serial number. Now to prepare a new recording, select this option here. A device configuration wizard will appear. The configuration in Noxternal is done in three steps. The first being the configuration. Here you can select the recording template. The recording templates have descriptive names to exhibit the recording type that they will be used for. You can edit the recording template by pressing the edit button here. For more information on recording templates, please see the instructional video creating a recording template. Here you can also put in the known and oximeter BDA number. This is the Bluetooth number that is specific to each oximeter. The BDA number is located on the back of the oximeter. Please ensure that this number is correct as this is the oximeter that will be linked to the device that you are preparing for this new recording. Once you are happy with the recording template and the BDA number, select next. The second part of the configuration is to schedule the recording. Here you can select a manual start or an automatic start. With a manual start, the patient will have to physically turn the device on and start the recording. It will automatically stop if you select the duration of the recording. Selecting start recording at means an automatic recording. You can select up to four nights of recording if you are going to be doing multiple nights, they do have to be consecutive nights of recording. So for example, if we are just doing a single night of recording, please select the date so that the date is highlighted in bold. Select your start time and select your duration. The default durations are seven, eight and 10 hours. 
but you can import a specific number of hours if you prefer. Once you are happy, move on to the last step of configuration, which is the patient information. Here you can put in the patient name, surname, their demographics, um, address, etc. some notes. If there is more information that you want to put in at this stage, you can press edit here. This will give you some further options. You can create some custom fields by selecting here, or for more information on how to create custom fields, please see the instructional video, view existing recordings and library as well. Once you are happy with the patient information, select finish and the device will configure. So the device now has been paired with your oximeter and has had its template configured, so it is ready to be sent out with the patient. Pressing OK, you will now see that the device will automatically eject itself. You can now physically unplug the device from your computer, place a battery in the device, close the battery door, and the device is ready. I hope you found that useful. For more information or more videos, please see our website at templehealthcare.com.au or please don't hesitate to call us or email. The head office can be reached on 024858 0690.